Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. I am outside, we have outside noises, including the road. I'm right off of a highway, but I'm out on Highway 67. And as I started to record, there are people out here with their little beepy meters looking for metal, I guess. I don't know. I was here first, so I'm not moving. <laughs> All right. So let's get going here. This, you can watch this anytime that you like, but this would be, if you wanna see it this way, for September 4th, the week of 2023. So as always, I'm gonna do an overview. And then we will, you know, take it down into three groups. Close your eyes, take a deep breath in. Whatever group that you are attracted to, go ahead and listen to that as part of your message as well. Okay, all right, so there's one of them. I gotta be careful with the cards. Uh, you'll see me dip out here for a second because I got the cards in a bag. So we have balancing. So the number is 14, reduces to five. We know that is the number of change. And this is Archangel Zadkiel. If you guys follow me on the clock app, um, you know that I posted a little something over there about Zadkiel. Zadkiel was coming through saying, it's time to really take a more expansive viewpoint of your situations. And you know, it's of course okay to be human. There are things that we get hung up on. Again, as humans, we do that. Zadikil comes in and helps us try to understand why we're hanging on to something. And he's also about getting all the information around something so that you can foster an understanding. You see what I'm saying? Because if you understand maybe somebody else's perspective, um, it could make it a little bit easier to let go, okay? to let go or to have um, to have your balance, to have your peace. So the need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise, wait for perfect timing. Now that's an interesting one just because um, we are in so many retrogrades. I do believe Venus is letting up as I'm filming this, double check me on that. But we have Zadkiel coming in and saying, okay, slow your roll here a little bit. This is more about, I'm sitting on a rock. <laughs> I'm sitting on a boulder. Is she comfortable? She's not. She's really not. Um, <laughs> but we have to kind of slow down and not just be pushing ahead because a lot of things that we think we want, we're going to pretty soon discover that wasn't it at all. The dreamer. So reimagine your goals. Take this time to do that. This Archangel Metatron. When we have Metatron, we have Zadkiel. These are archangels that come in and say you know your the the goals the dreams that you have might be too deeply set in the material realm and for some people depending on your soul's contract you know that might be what is right for you you're supposed to be learning you know to take care of yourself financially or to build your dream home or whatever that's all well and good but remember at the end of the day it's going to be about who you have loved how well you have allowed yourself to love and who you have been open to loving you. So remember that. A leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. So if you are out there, especially if you are struggling with anything right now and you're just like, you know, things are just not moving ahead the way I would like, this is why. Something better is coming along. Something is getting set up. We have eight of air, an illusion of being trapped. So again, I, I feel like there's probably been a lot of, um, I don't know, delays, something along those lines. Uh, and you might be seeing it as a permanent situation. That's what they're saying. We humans, we tend to see everything as permanent and not you know, transient. And that is what is occurring. So it's about timing. And it's also about us all learning and reevaluating what would truly make us happy. Okay. An illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid uh, to take action. So it's not that you need to be afraid to take action. It's just listening to your instincts about when would be the right time to do that. All right. <laughs> we have ego. All right. So this is the number 15 reduces to six. That is the material realm. Oh, thank God that sun's going behind a cloud. I, I got to be able to see, you know what I mean? A false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. Now, this will keep coming up. I, I'm late on the September overview. <laughs> Long story. Go back and look at one of the posts that I put up. But, you know, 
we'll, we'll get there. But September is going to be very this, like a lot of messaging around things we're supposed to be afraid of, supposed to be panicking over, you know, all of that. And this can get us into survival mode. So that I think is a good uh, thing to take away from this portion of the reading Where's the survival mode? Now, don't go anywhere. I gotta dip down and get the uh, color cards. These will blow away if I leave them out. But if you wanna work with me, go to angelsouls444.com. I'm gonna be coming out with new courses as well. I will keep you posted on that. But you can book a reading with me. Now is the time to do it because I do tend to get pretty busy in the fall and the winter time. So keep that in mind. Uh, but not always, but every once in a while, I might have an opening for a live reading session. If that's something that's a different price point, a different process, if that is something you might be interested in, you can email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com to see if there's availability. Okay, so there's that part. Let's get the color card. Oh, it's so nice to be outside. My hair looks weird with this, but that's fine. <laughs> as long as my hair's not blown in my face, we're good. All right. So we have silver. Be patient. <laughs> Number is 27. Reduces to nine. We're and we're coming up on the nine nine. So September 9th energy portal. This is a time of completions, wrapping things up. But it's in a way, uh, if you have done your work, if you have you know done your spiritual practices, you've allowed yourself to see hard truths. You haven't shut that down. Um, this will be a time where it's like, okay, the universe will let you know. Job well done. You can settle that down okay so I just realized I swear to God when I looked down I could have sworn it said be patient it doesn't say be patient it says be persistent all right so I think that that's part of your message as well as to be patient but the persistent so don't give up this is a time where you do need to bide your time a little bit Okay, so it's maybe a time where it's not a whole lot of action going on, but you are allowing things to sum up, to be settled, if you want to see it that way. And even too, there's sort of this feeling of, I'm sorry, I'm watching these people are climbing. It's kind of cool. Um, just letting yourself recharge, okay, and to have a little bit of a rest and to explore different ways of doing things. All right, so we'll leave it there for the general. Remember to breathe in focus and choose another group one two or three you'll see the chapters in the description box so let's get to that Okay, this is not a cute look, I know, but it, it's necessary. <laughs> Hi, group one. Let's see what else is going on for you. Again, if you would like to work with me, we have the 9-9 energy portal coming up and then the 10-10, and it just kicks off pretty much now. So if that is something you would like to do, just go to my website, angelsouls444.com. You can email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com to see if I have any live reading sessions going on. That's not always available. It's a different price point, but you know, you can check it out. All right. Okay, we got some bugs out here, <laughs> some noises. That's interesting. All right, so we have the hermit and the number is nine. So take that nine frequency very, very seriously. This is, you could think of this as, um, you know, 
taking time to tune in with your angels, your guardian angels, to do some archangelic work, to just open your heart. 8-8 eight, eight is about heart opening, but 9-9 nine, nine is like, okay, I'm here, I'm open, show me. So put that out into the universe. Show me what I need to know, what direction am I meant to go in, God, source, creator, the universe, however you see that. So this is the Hermit, Archangel Raziel. This kind of goes along with the message from the general where it's like, okay, we need to chill out a little bit here. Everything can't be go, go, go. You know what I'm saying? So Archangel Raziel is trying to help you find the light in the dark. He's trying to help you see the stuff that you thought was impossible, that it's not impossible. All right. Or that it, there just needs to be a different approach to it. All right. So we have spent time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, self-discovery. So it's the time for that. Make sure you're giving enough room to do that. Now, what does that look like exactly? Well, that's um, not forcing yourself to, and I, I'm guilty of this, not forcing yourself to just get up and go, go, go. I've got to do this. I've got my agenda. I've got to get this work done. I got to get that work done. Wherever you have room and flexibility, give yourself some grace and a chance to rest and have some peace. If you say my schedule's too packed, I don't have that, find it, okay? See what you can do. Page of earth, scholarly, dependable, patient. Patience is a whole thing, okay? This is what we're doing. Successful, good news about financial matters, wanting to do something more challenging, a new area of study. So for you, part of that self-discovery might be, I wanna go in a different direction. Or I've been pushing on a dream that I thought would bring me peace, harmony, happiness, and I'm realizing that doesn't need to be the goal anymore. So it might be less glamorous <laughs> as you reevaluate your dreams, but it's going to be um, something that brings you pure happiness. All right, so it's worth it. And you're going on an evolutionary path here. So especially around finances, it might be you know, something we're starting out small and it grows into something bigger. But this is also about being grounded and again, going, reevaluating those goals and going back into something that feels um, maybe less flashy, but you feel stable. You feel, so if you're somebody who, for example, um, Let's say you're an artist, okay? Well, starving artist is like a thing. Uh, let's say you're out there doing that and then suddenly you're like, if it's not bringing me happiness anymore, if I feel like the struggle is taken away from my creativity, well then you figure out a combination of things or maybe you take a completely different direction. It's sort of that thing. King of earth, generous, professional, responsible, practical. A successful time, there's a lot of success here. Confidently accept opportunities you're offered, the Midas touch. So you find your flow and this is beautiful. You're, you're finding your magic again, but in a grounded way, okay? It's not just wishful thinking. Queen of air, because we don't do wishful thinking with the queen of air. She just makes stuff happen. So we have independent, experienced, realistic, witty. Objective decision-making, clearing away all that no longer serves you, seeing the humor in a situation. This feels like you might even come back and go, why did I get myself into that situation? Or why did I think that things had to look like X, Y, and Z? Like I thought they had to um, turn out a certain way for them to be successful. There's a lot of, again, just revelations, just kind of like, I don't know, a sudden aha moment. I'm looking at the Jeep that just went by. <laughs> it was packed full of people and every single one of them is like looking over here with their mouths open like, what's she doing? It's 2023. I mean, they look like they were interested. Everyone, anybody's welcome to come over and listen, but they're doing their thing. Anyway, let's get the color card. Don't go anywhere yet. Um, I have to do this so they, oh, my hair looks so stupid. I feel like I have like a mullet or something. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> these will blow away if I don't have them in my bag. Let's see what your color card is. <sighs> there it is. It's sticking right out. You can see it, right? Can you? Okay. We have pink. Let love in. The number is four. So this is guardian angels. Let love in. Yes, that could be romantic love. That could be allowing people to help you, to be there for you, what have you. But let the angelic love in. That's what this is saying. This is saying, hey, you know, 
Maybe you've gotten so fearful and you've locked down and think that, you know, you have to do everything on your own and you don't. That's why the angels are here. That's why the archangels come in because they, they want to fill you up with love. They want to help you feel at ease so that you can make your wishes and dreams come true, but so that you can be successfully serving your soul's contract and the original plan for why you incarnated in the first place. Okay, so we'll leave it there for you guys and get on to group two. Hi there, group two. Let's see what is going on for you. Please remember to go back and listen to the first part of the message. And just as a reminder, if you would like to work with me, go to my website, angelsouls444.com. You can email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com to see if I have live reading sessions open, but uh, those are limited. So I might not have that availability. But other than that, let's see what's going on for you. I feel like it's harvest time for you guys. I mean, it's a harvest time of year in the Northern Hemisphere, but um, the harvest can come in a lot of different ways. So we have five of air. It starts out where you're realizing, you're reevaluating your choices. So it says an unwise choice. Okay, that was a muscle car that just went by. <laughs> a vroom vroom car. Learn what you can from this situation. Review everyone's motives. So this may have you, there's a time where you're, it's not like this is gonna happen to you. It's, it's already happened, it feels but you're reevaluating going, okay, again, why did I take this job? Why am I putting up with this? And it's not so that you go into victimhood mentality, but you realize I'm a part of the conflict. Uh, I'm not a vibrational match for what I'm doing. And so if you're not, and you kind of try to force it because you do have free will that you can do that, well, that's just gonna spark everybody else. So it's a time of taking accountability, but also just, you know, leave the blame game. If something's not right for you, evaluate how you got there. That's an important thing to do before you move on so that you don't repeat that lesson, okay? So we have six of earth, gifts of money, time, or effort, new career opportunities, receiving a loan or paying off debts. So if you have been worried about financial things, you're looking for a new job, or you just want a better sense of security, something is coming about and it's a gift, all right? So someone could be providing this for you. It could be an idea someone has and you know it becomes very fruitful for you. But remember what I said, it's harvest time. So you might still be thinking that you have to be in uh, the mode of tending and you know watching, but that's coming to an end and you'll be able to reap the rewards for the things that you have put out there. Six of air, things are looking up, the end of a difficult situation, taking a trip. So things will be easing up. I think, you know, you may not see the direct results of that this week. Like I said, these are actually timeless. It's really an energetic pull. Whenever you are drawn in by these readings, that's where your message is. But you'll start to see the light at the end of the tunnel. You'll start to see or get inspiration even. Okay, inspiration really flowing right now. So you know you can handle this, this situation. Three of fire, abundance. You guys are turning things around financially, so this is going to be very good. Abundance, things look very good. Have patience at this time. Make long-term plans. That is, what is that? It's a bug. I don't know. <laughs> but you're, you're kind of looking at things from a different perspective. And from that different perspective, that's where you're looking at the, look from a broader perspective let's put it that way and you're realizing okay I was getting too wound up worrying about some tiny little detail um, this is sort of like me where I worry so much about the editing of a project that it never gets done okay <laughs> so things are looking up your inspiration is returning go with it okay and going with it does not look like um, oh I'm gonna you know lock myself in a room and make sure I get this project done it's I'm gonna be outdoors I'm going to tune in with the angels I'm gonna open my heart and let love in I'm gonna let that find its place within me and through me so that you can produce something out in the world I'm gonna get you a color card here one second let's see what your color card is Okay, let's 
so we have indigo this is your intuition okay so this isn't like outward pushing making it happen um listening to people you know every, everybody has their purpose in life right but listening to like career coaches for example they can offer one perspective but you need to start with the soul contract you need to start with um again what is the soul pinging you to do the soul is speaking to you through your intuition, okay? Indigo, improve your vision. The number is 40, reduces to four. Again, a very strong message that your guardian angels are trying to work with you. They're on the ready. They've been watching your progress and now they have more information for you. So this will probably come about maybe in sudden visions. I mean, that could certainly happen for some of you or it could happen in a dream, all right? So be mindful, be ready. Do not let the ego get in there and start twisting the meaning around because you want to have it be a nice, neat little story. It doesn't, it doesn't always work like that, okay? So just keep that in mind. We'll leave it there for you guys and get on to group three. Hi there, group three. Let's see what is going on for you. And uh, my hat. <laughs> Make sure you go back and watch the first part of the message. Don't, don't miss that part. If you want to work with me, go to angelsouls444.com. If you want to try to email me and see if there is a live reading uh, session available, just email me, wind's picking up, at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. All right, let's see what we have for you guys. All right, so we have ego. All right, so that came up in the general. It's coming up now. Watch your ego. What does that mean? Stop putting yourself above others. Stop playing the victim. Stop blaming others. Stop uh, thinking that the universe is not being fair to you because you don't have everything you've ever wished for. That's all ego. And 15 reduces to 6. That's the material world, okay? So Archangel Jophael see if I can shield this from the wind here. <laughs> Archangel Jophiel, a false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. <laughs> Again, I'm going to just try here. Um, this is getting yourself too much. You might be someone who's sitting here nitpicking this video. I hear cars. I can hear people talking in the background. I can hear the wind. I can hear the bugs. <sighs> Okay, that's your message. Okay, let it go. All right, renewal. So when you allow that part to quiet down, that ego part, well, ego can also be the fear-based thinking, um, being scared that things aren't going to turn out the way you need them to, you know, all those kinds of things. But once that kind of calms down, we have 20 here on the renewal card and it reduces to two, which is balance. All right, so when you become more balanced and harmonized, this is where the renewal can take place, but you need to let the old die down okay archangel jeremiah is all about life review so this is a good time take this kind of slow period to um, check back in with your soul's contract am i still doing what i need to do have i put material things above all else letting that go helps with the renewal review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts uh time to move in a new direction and that new direction for you guys i think yeah, it might actually be an outward new direction, a new home, a new job. Maybe some of you are finally deciding to date again, you know, whatever the case may be. But it's more than that. It's about renewing uh, what you hold dear, what you think is important. Okay. How many did I pull already? Just two? Just two. All right. So then we have Night of Air. So some of you maybe have been a little bit into the wishful thinking. You've been into kind of a feel for you guys. You kind of go back and forth from overthinking to, okay, I'm just going to unplug and pretend like nothing's happening. So balancing that out a little bit. So we have the night of air, intelligent, decisive, idealistic, tireless events that occur with great speed. Take time to carefully review your options, creative solutions. So yes, this is the, oh, it was a rock that just fell down. Um, it's away from my car, so we're good. Um, Night of Air, this is um, getting your inspiration again, but understanding the steps that need, like the intellectual steps that you would need to uh, make it happen. And then we have Night of Water. 
balance, balance, balance between the head and the heart. Here we go. Emotional, romantic, enthusiastic, contemplative. Falling in love or wedding proposals. The need to balance emotions. There's that word balance again. An invitation to a social event. I think what this time for you is just taking steps and going, oh, that didn't work. Okay, okay, well, maybe if I explore this without overthinking it. Remember, it's intellect and heart getting online with one another so that you can find a direction that works for you. Now, some of you might be so burned out at this point that you're like, you know what, I'm not going to stress about money. I'm not going to whatever. You're like, I'm not going to worry about the boss criticizing me all the time. Like you're finding a way to cope with that from your internal world, right? From the soul self. So let me get you guys a color card. One second. Oh boy. Here we are. Whoa. Okay, we don't want to be dropping the deck out here. I'll never find it again. <laughs> Plus, that's littering. We don't need that. Okay. So, we have Emerald, which is all about the heart center. This is Archangel Raphael energy opening the heart space. Calm your mind, body, and soul. The number is 30, reduces to three. So, get into the heart wisdom. That's some of you have felt very, very lost, most likely, and um, you know, just trying to grapple for any kind of solution. But being calm, being collected, going into the heart space, asking Raphael to heal any fears or anything that might be going on in the heart space that is preventing you from wanting to open up. This is the time. The heart has a lot of information and a lot of wisdom to share. All right, so we're gonna leave it there for everybody now. I am sending you all so much love and take care.